Good morning, folks. We'll cover the space weather of the last day. Believe it or not, we can see yet even more sunspots ready to make their way onto the Earth-facing half, and we've got two articles from the journals as well, covering a different solar cycle peak forecast and the exciting and anxiety-inducing topic of magnetar activity. But we start with our star. Over the last day, we saw only one M-class flare, nice little break from what we've seen the last couple days, and the solar wind magnetic transient activity continued, triggering another low-level geomagnetic storm. We'll also have a bit more information on what we discussed yesterday about potential Earth impact from the previous flares and CMEs. Here's the one flare we had came off the southern incoming group, facing Earth midweek here. We had the resurgence of the geomagnetic instability last night due to continued solar wind perturbations, and as for the potential for one of the previous CMEs to hit, not only do we have the shockwave transient potential in the solar wind, but one of those CMEs actually has a good chance of clipping Earth. This is now confirmed by both Enlil spirals for late Wednesday arrival. Should be minor like the ones we've had over the last 24 hours. Sunspots are still numerous on the disk, most complex grouping incoming on the north, while the largest overall umbra is the one that released the solar flare we saw a couple seconds ago. Incoming on the south, it is several times bigger than Earth as you can see here. Monster spot. Now, in addition to watching all these active regions, it's fairly obvious that at least one more is incoming over the north. This is the 171 angstrom view, ionized iron, and if you can pull your eyes away from all the interconnected magnetism and plasma flows between the earth-facing spots, you can see its bright umbral fields just approaching the limb here this morning. We'll have space weather watch for at least the next several days. We recently looked at a forecast of the solar cycle peak for mid-2025, peaking a bit higher than it did during the last sunspot cycle. We've now got a different method being used here to forecast that peak at a similar magnitude, but occurring next year, in July of 2024. Either way, we are now at the crest of sunspot maximum and should be expecting this elevated activity for much of the next few years. Come on, magnetic field, don't fail us now. Let's also go and hit the topic of magnetars. This one has a double dose of importance and magnetar stars are known to have a crust. That is something that first really reinforces Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille's insistence on a stellar surface. They don't even try to deny the obviousness when it comes to magnetars. But this paper on magnetism and the crust also brings us back to something concerning about the Earth since a magnetar's magnetic field is set up quite similarly. The surge through the lowest level L-shell fields during a magnetar burst are thought to be able to take the downward pathway and crack the crust. This is because so much energy and current surges through, its path of least resistance can be to arc downward. This is something of a concern at Earth in the biggest impacts from the Sun, like super flares or the solar micronova. Think Robert Schock's super lightning bolt or the thunderbolt of the gods concept. In fact, Carrington event modeling suggests we almost had one back then, as the lowest shells were exposed. In an even greater event, by the way, which is due and expected in the next 25 years, that shell will not only be compressed, but surged with energy. And there's no reason the exact same thing that happens on a magnetar couldn't happen here. Not just from the astrophysical interaction perspective, but pretty much is the only way to explain so much of the ancient evidence of such a disaster actually having taken place. Burning rock, melting sand to glass, and even carving landscape. Going to be an interesting couple decades here. We greatly appreciate your support. To learn more about what's coming, grab our books, watch our playlist. Both are listed in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.